Before 1997, we were Department of Information Systems and Computer Science under the Faculty of Science. I think back then we realized that computing is actually very different from all the other disciplines in the universities. We are fast evolving and fast changing and this affects our teaching and research. To set up a school was our only option and with the support of the university, this is an opportunity not to be missed. Being an independent school, we have the opportunity to do what is best for us rather than having to follow our host faculty. We value publications and provide full financial support to staff and students to present the top conferences. Being a school also provides us with the independence to design our curriculum and have full control over recruitment and staff remuneration packages. Before 2007, we transitioned from a teaching-focused school to a research school. Our faculty and graduate student numbers have grown tremendously. During this phase, we were still a small and tidy community. Everyone basically knew everyone. During the these days, our curriculum had only computer science and information systems components, leading to a three-year Bachelor of Science degree. When we became a full-fledged school, we offered a four-year direct honours degree program in computer science or information systems. And for the very first time, our graduates received the Bachelor of Computing degree. Since then, more degree programs were added, including Business Analytics, Information Security and Computer Engineering. We also introduced double degree and concurrent degree programs in the 2000s, some with overseas universities, providing our students with global exposure. 25 years ago, we had just over 1,700 students. Now, our enrollment has more than tripled. As educators, our commitment lies in equipping our students with a robust computing foundation, along with the necessary skills and knowledge that are essential for their future professional careers. Since the mid-1990s, we have been actively strengthening research while maintaining excellence in teaching as this. We recruited high-caliber faculty members, provided support to research students, and encouraged participation in top conferences. Research and startup grants are also provided in collaboration with industry and government organizations. Now, in the 2000s, we significantly ramped up the pace of research. From just one research center in 2008, we now have more than 10 today. Our research areas include new technologies such as blockchain, fintech, health tech, and cybersecurity. Today, our research staff stands at over 200, almost a five-fold jump from 25 years ago. We also provide opportunities for inspiring entrepreneurs. Our incubation facility, The Furnace, has successfully incubated over 30 startups to date. As a school, we've always tried to do more than just teach our students well and prepare them for successful professional careers. I think giving back to the community is important. Not only does it add meaning to life, it also helps our students develop leadership skills and also succeed as well-rounded individuals. Okay, since 2007, our students have been building IT systems to support the local social service organizations every summer. In 2021, we actually set up the Center for Computing for Social Good and Philanthropy. This center supports community projects where our students teach computing and life skills to kids from disadvantaged backgrounds. NQS Computing has done well in its 25 years of existence, but we have also experienced some turbulent times. One challenge we had faced was the dot-com bubble burst in the 2000s, which had a considerable impact on the school. Our student intake dropped as many felt that there was no future in IT. However, we tackled it by introducing new programs and revamping the curriculum providing opportunities for students to develop soft skills as well as entrepreneurial know-how. More recently, there was the COVID-19 pandemic. In a short span of time, we had to pivot to online teaching and learning and make changes to pedagogy and develop new educational resources. These were challenging moments, but I think we emerged stronger as we learned to seize opportunities and reimagine how we can take computing to a whole new level. NUS Computing today is and will continue to be the largest source of computing talent for Singapore. We are a talent magnet, attracting high caliber faculty members, researchers and students. Over the years, we have built an outstanding reputation. This is through collaborations with various academic, research and industry partners, both locally and globally. 
In the next five years, I would like NUS Computing to be the top choice for those who wish to pursue a computing career. A name synonymous with academic and research excellence, forward-looking entrepreneurial ecosystem, contribution to social good, as well as high-quality computing graduates. We will continue to provide a distinctive educational experience and build a strong research culture. We also wish to further develop a strong sense of belonging among our staff, students and alumni. We hope this will inspire them to give back to NUS Computing and the wider community. Congratulations to SOC on your 25th anniversary. Well done, SOC. We've come a long way, SOC. Congratulations. May there be many more good years to come. Congratulations to NUS Computing for completing 25 years of existence. I'm sure you will have a very bright future ahead. Let us all look forward to another 25 years of excellence.